Good morning! Today we are going to investigate what happens to this positively charged particle as it encounters a magnetic field. Now, as you can see, the charged particle deflects in a magnetic field. And the question is, can we predict the direction the charged particle will deflect in? So that's our goal today. So the background information. When a charged particle that is moving encounters a magnetic field, as you just saw in the video, the magnetic field will push the particle. A couple of key words here, charged. A proton is charged, an electron is charged, an alpha particle, a positron, these are all charged particles. The other key word, they have to be moving. If these particles are stationary, then there will be no push from the magnetic field. So it's got to be charged and it's got to be moving for the magnetic field to push these particles. What about a neutron? Well, a neutron is not charged. Therefore, it'll experience no force, no push in a magnetic field. The force or the push acting on the charged particle will act perpendicular to the motion, to the velocity of the particle. So as you can see in this diagram, if the particle is heading in this direction, then the force is at a 90 degree angle with respect to it. So today, we are going to explore two orientations for the magnet. When the north pole of the magnet is facing us, and when the north pole is facing away from us. So in this situation, we're looking at the south pole. To represent this orientation of the magnetic field, we are going to use O's. The O's mean that, that the field is coming out of the plane of the video that you're currently watching. For this orientation, when the North Pole is facing away from us and we're looking at the South Pole, we're going to use X's. X's mean that the field is going into the plane of the video. So in this situation that we're currently looking at, these are X's. That would be the orientation of the magnet, as you can see, and it means the field is going into the plane of the video. And so the question is this, is there a rule that we can use to predict the deflection of the charged particle? Or in other words, to predict the direction the force will act on a charged particle when it enters a magnetic field? And yes, there is a rule. It's called the right hand rule for moving charges in a magnetic field. And as you can see from the photos, it implies using the right hand. So here's the right hand rule. Aim your fingers in the same direction as the velocity. So in this situation, we can say that the charged particle is heading east. And so notice these are four different orientations of our hand, but the fingers are always aimed in the same direction, except that the palm of the hand is facing four different distinct directions. But the fingers are always aimed in the direction of the arrow, the direction of the velocity. Two. We have to rotate the palm of your hand in the same direction as the field. Now these are four different orientations of the palm for these style of problems. The question is, which one, which palm here, faces in the same direction as the field? Well, the field is pointing inwards. This is very important. So your palm also has to face inwards. 
those two hands, the way they're oriented, they don't work. They're facing side to side. That palm faces towards you. It faces outwards. And so this is the correct orientation of your hand. Why? Because your fingers are pointing in the direction of the velocity vector and your palm is facing inwards in the same direction as the field. So here's part three of the rule. Your thumb points in the direction of the magnetic force if the particle is positive. At the very beginning, we said it was a positive particle and your thumb points in the direction of the magnetic force. And so that's the direction of the magnetic force. It always acts perpendicular to the velocity. So once again, here's our charged particle. It was positive and deflects in that direction. What if the charge is negative? Notice for a negative charge, it deflects in the opposite direction. So here's the fourth part of the right hand rule. And this rule is only for charges that are negative. Your thumb points in the opposite direction for the magnetic force if the particle is negative. So we follow the exact same rules. Fingers point in this direction because of the velocity. Palm faces inwards because the field points inwards. And notice your thumb points in that direction. If it was positive, the force would be pointing in the same direction, but because it's negative, you basically flip your thumb 180 degrees. Now some students ask, can we use our left hand for a negative charge? In theory, you can. I just like the students to remember that if it's a positive charge, the thumb points in the direction of the force. If it's a negative charge, you have to flip your thumb 180 degrees and just use one hand, the right hand. All right, here's a positive charge. This time the field is pointing out. Please try this example. Which way will the force be? Pause video now. Okay, I hope you tried this example. We're gonna start off by showing you the four different orientations of your hand. Notice, however, for all four orientations, the fingers are pointing in the same direction as the velocity vector. Key to this example is that the field now is pointing out. And so those first two orientations, they don't work because, again, the hands are facing side to side. And that orientation doesn't work because the palm of the hand faces inwards. And so there's our answer. Palm is facing outwards. Fingers are pointing along the velocity vector and your thumb points in the direction of the force. And that would be the overall motion of this charged particle in that magnetic field. Now this is one situation we haven't talked about. Imagine this situation where the magnets are now facing side to side. And here's the charged particle. So if you're interested in this answer, please watch the next video which goes through three different examples. Have a great day.